everyone welcome back to my another video today we are going to discuss callback function in a javascript in my previous video talk about asynchronous and synchronous coding so today we are going to discuss callback function so callback functions like a message you leave for your friend telling them what to do when they receive that message so a callback function is like telling someone hey when you are done with that call me back call me back that's it so basically in a javascript this means you are asking a function to do something and when it is finished it calls another function you provided so let me write down in a code function do something which will take a callback function callback i'm going to provide here i'm going to write here log something doing something okay once this doing something is complete need to be called back my function so basically you are telling this do something function when you are done with that your log call me back so let's invoke this function outside do something which will take a callback function callback function as an argument so let define this callback function outside callback function and just simple log it log here console dot log call back function is called So what we are trying to to do here? So do something is a function which we are passing callback function as an argument which we are taking here, and inside do something we are just doing some console. Once this doing console is completed, then they are going to our callback function, and this callback function is going to execute line number eleven. Okay, let's save it and see the output in the developer tool. So doing something and callback function is called. so in this code do something is a function that take another function callback as an argument when do something is done it calls the callback function which print callback function is called to the console so this is our example for callback function let me explain this let me explain this by writing okay explanation explanation what happened in this code in this code do something is a function do something is a function that takes that takes another function another function callback this taking a callback as an argument as a argument when do something is done it call it calls the callback function call back function which print which prints with log myself what we have here callback function is called okay so in the console so this is about doing something once doing something is complete then they are going to execute callback function and then they are doing the log here okay so in to more clarity why are callback function important in javascript so answer is callback function are crucial in a javascript for handling asynchronous operation even you can handle synchronous operation as well i'll provide here both example for synchronous and asynchronous as well to handle via the callback so let me write the in my previous video already talk about async and sync code asynchronous code 
I'll talk about asynchronous code and synchronous code. Okay, so let me talk about firstly synchronous code. So in a synchronous code, execute code executes line by line. Code execute line by line. Okay, so basically blocking the program's execution until task is complete. But in asynchronous allow allows other task to other tasks to run while waiting for while waiting for while waiting for task another task okay allow other tasks to run while waiting so in a synchronous if i'll give you example for synchronous let's say we have numbers array which containing 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 in form of array and our job is to need to be triple this number of array so let's write a function we can achieve this by writing so triple array going to print i'm going to use here map method so map method was to do in a map method going to run in a array on each number of elements so which take a callback function so i'm going to provide here callback function so triple triple function i'm going to provide here okay so triple function is here our callback so let me write this function function triple fn which will take a number as an argument and going to return from here number into 3 so what we are trying to do here we have function let's remove this not arrow function this is our normal function they are going to run this triple function on each number of element in this array so let's save it and see the output in a console console.log triple array so let's do some comment here uh, triple okay. let's save it and see the output in console you see like 4 sorry 6 9 12 15 so what is happening they are taking the number 2 and multiplying by 3 this will become the 6 then 3 into 3 9 4 into 3 12 and 5 into 3 15 so important things is that to understand we use here map method which will take a callback function triple here which running on each element of this array with that logic okay so this is our synchronous code example let me write down the asynchronous code example here so in asynchronous code how happening mainly for handling let's take example for ajax request so let's say we have here fetch method which will take a url i'm going to write here example fetch method https and something api i'm going to hit here from api in api whatever you are using just i'm taking api example.com so this will return with a then method okay so let me write down here bottom dot then method so then method take a callback so this will print a response and this response we can take as per our requirement mainly for JSON converting so this is taking here a callback function you see this callback function and this will take another then with success if our response is success or fail we are going to handle in this data let's say we are getting and we do some operation what we want that handle handle the data when it's ready okay when it's ready or if this fail we can handle in a cache block so cache this also take a error as a argument and we can do here error handling error handling okay so basically these are the callback functions which we are handling inside here so basically what we are doing here we are doing the fetch with this url this initiate an http request to retrieve data from a specified url 
ओके देन रिस्पॉन्स डॉट जेशन सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट कॉल बैक फंक्शन विच वी आर ट्राइंग टू एक्सक्यूट इट प्रोवाइडेड डॉट मेथड इट इज एक्सक्यूटेड वैन द एच डी टी पी रिस्पॉन्स सक्सेसफुली रिसीव इन दिस केस रिस्पॉन्स ऑब्जेक्ट कन्वर्ट इन टू द जेसन फर्स्टली एंड दिस इज वैन यू हैंडल द डेटा वंस इज रेडी एंड अदर वी हैव डेटा हियर इन थर्ड सो दिस इज ऑल्सो आवर कॉल बैक फंक्शन एंड अदर कॉल बैक फंक्शन सो इट एक्सक्यूटेड आफ्टर द प्रीवियस दिन एंड इट रिसीव द पार्स डेटा इन अ जेसन फॉर्मेट एंड दिस इज द थर्ड वन कॉल बैक फंक्शन विद एर If there is any issue with HTTP request, such as network error or an error in the response, we are going to handle here. So we have other example for synchronous method, like we have array methods. Any we can run like map, reduce, short. So basically, this is the synchronous example. So even you can like real time geolocation tracking you can do in asynchronous operations. so this is the for callback functions so i'll explain another step callback hell and promit or droom in our upcoming videos so hope you will like this explanations if you like please share your thoughts in the comment sections and thank you for watching